Even the sign welcoming you to the George Washington Parkway here is a mess. I mean, the Park Service logo is missing. Half the sign isn't even there. What's left is weather beaten and old. All of it a reminder of just how crumbled this infrastructure is. The northern end of the parkway is 60 years old and has not had a substantial makeover since it was opened in 1962, according to the National Park Service. Here on the underside of the Donaldson Run Bridge in Arlington, inspectors have marked crumbling concrete with the reinforcing steel exposed and rusting away. Steel supports are badly corroded. The bridge is safe, according to the Park Service, but up above now, traffic is crawling as inspectors begin the process of deciding how to move forward. Commuters have been warned by the National Park Service of disruptions and lane closures on the parkway between now and Friday for the surveys. It's among the first steps toward what the Park Service is calling a complete rehabilitation of the parkway. It's a $161 million job that was announced only weeks after President Joe Biden signed the nation's $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill. The project will improve the driving experience, safety, and water drainage while reviving the historic beauty and significance of the parkway, including opening scenic views to Washington, D.C., says the National Park Service announcement of the project. But it's likely to also come at the cost of major future traffic disruptions. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg talked about the challenges ahead for the entire country on 60 Minutes Sunday. Well, you get what you pay for. And for pretty much as long as I've been alive, our country has been under-investing in public things for a long time. Uh, everybody here in Washington said, we got to do this, or we're going to do this. It's finally happened, but we've got a lot of time to make up for. Under the Donaldson Run Bridge on the George Washington Parkway, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.